Holy moly, it's guacamole. This is a short demo that will show you my guacamole install. Um, guacamole is open source, basically enables you to get to your computers, multiple computers, or um, they can be basically Windows, Mac, Linux, even Linux terminals, all from um, a web browser uh, using Tomcat. Um, anyhow, I'll, I'll just show you. This is the login, so I'll just log in. I'll just, this is just on my local network, but you can set up a port forward. Um, so you can basically get to it from anywhere. It's HTML5, so there's no plugins required, so you don't have to put any apps on or anything like that, or plug in into the browsers or whatever. You just basically go to the URL, and put in your username and password, and you're in. You can, you can work on a few different machines at once. First I'll show you, this is my main box at home. So that's that's my main box, you can see that's uh, that's backing up at the moment. Um, that will, if I just go back, and then go to the backup server. This is the other box that's on my network. Get rid of that terminal thing there. You've got full control, you've got the mouse. And as you can see, it's quite snappy. There's no, uh, not, not a lot of lag. The, all you do is you basically go back, and then I can open up another one. This is my snappy core, so I'm in a terminal. This is another box. Um, and you can do your, your updates or whatever. No updates on that one. Go back again go back and carry on working on this one so basically you can have as many BNC RDPs or terminals running as you want um, what you can do is you can create users so you can put like these three machines into one group and um, so Wayne's allowed to access the, the terminal and these two computers but no other ones or you could give me access to five whatever that it's very straightforward to set up well it's not very easy to do the initial install I, I followed a, a script um, which I'll, I'll post it, it, it it's quite good it, it worked perfectly flawlessly uh, as you can see you can see these connections are currently in use you can limit the, the use of how many users are logged into that box so if that was an RDP a Windows RDP and it, it allowed five users you could you could restrict it to four users or five users whatever, whatever you wanted really um, but if you go to the settings uh, you can see I can I can them three sessions are logged into there. I can I can kill each any of them or all of them. They're active sessions. Uh, the history. You can see where people have been coming in, which users, which box they've been going to, how long they've been going to. Um, obviously, you can add new users here. Change change what users can do. Um, inside mine, you can see when I'm allowed to come in. Uh, what I'm allowed to do. Administrate stuff. Which connections I'm allowed to change my password in there and stuff like that uh, connections create connections to machines so if you look inside my snappy one that's basically snappy it's an SSH where you can see you've got Telnet VLC RDP uh, you can see how many connections uh, maximum number of connections the host name the port number it's on the username password you can put a private key in there but once you've once I put the username and password, it's gone in. You can change the colour of the terminal, which is pretty cool. Font size, get it to execute commands when you log in. Clone, clone them ones as well. Preferences is quite good. Um, I've noticed that this works per login. So if I log in as me from a tablet, it'll have these settings, these settings here. But if I log in from a laptop with the same user, it'll have different settings for each device, which is quite good. So on my tablet I can switch that to text input and then uh, I get a, an emulation of a keyboard uh, or I can get an on-screen keyboard I'm, I'm just playing with these at the moment um, and you can change the way that the mouse works as well um, I have it working like that at the moment but I've just noticed this before that I can drag to move stuff on that which I might try um, also what it does it will allow you to um, it will redirect printers so if it's an RDP uh, if I go into a, uh, if I just do a new session, um, a new connection, sorry. So if I do a new connection, 
Um, if I go down to the bottom here, um, what was it? If I change that to RDP, there we get a load more settings. So you can set the obviously the resolution, color depth, and it also you can see these here. You've got audio printing. You can mount uh, a drive, so you can share a drive of it. Enable the wallpaper. You can do all sorts of fancy stuff. So I could basically RDP into one of my machines on the network click print on it and it'll come out where I am on the printer that I am connected to so that's that's just so handy um, but it's early days I only got this set up yesterday so um, but as you can see it you know go back the main you really you just really it's just so fast and I don't see the point in paying for these expensive uh, alternatives not mentioning any names this is this 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 box isn't the fastest box in the world but it's my backup server so um, it's on the network but it's handy to get into every now and then um, but yeah the only thing I'll need to do is add a, a Windows box here and a, and a Mac and then I've got five in there just to test out but um, yeah I'll put some instructions on a blog uh, you can follow it through you can install this on a, I have it running on Ubuntu 1604 LTS so you could just set a, a box up on your network and um, install Ubuntu 1604 LTS run the script that I've got what you can do is if you've if you've got like loads of users on your network you, you could install VNC on them computers and you could uh, you could put them into a group you could tap into that group and you could just take a, a little peek through and watch users during the day or you could take over their machines and help them um, great for support uh, great for remote working um, if you're interested in a, a guacamole or want some more information then just drop me an email on uh, info at wayneward.co.uk I hope you liked the video good morning <laughs>